As it relates to Governor David Stern said it is the worst thing to happen to his league, to the league in his 23 years in charge. The kind of thing that cuts right to the very integrity of the game. We want to get a little more perspective on this story. So earlier this week, I spoke with someone who admittedly knows a thing or two about basketball, NBA all-time leading scorer Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Really a pleasure to have you here. When you hear the allegation, I mean, does that just make you sick to your stomach? Yeah, it, it's it's very disturbing. You know, it's the worst thing that could possibly happen in this in, under these circumstances, and I'm I'm sure that the uh, NBA is going to do all they can to uh, to rectify it immediately. With the first pick in the 2007 NBA draft. The Portland Trailblazers select Kevin Durant from the University of Texas. And even if you know that that moment is going to happen, you can only imagine, and very few know what it feels like, to hear your name called as the first overall selection in the draft. that no bastard ever won war by dying for his country. He won it by making the other poor dumb bastard die for his country. And then, all this stuff you've heard about America not wanting to fight, wanting to stay out of the war, is a lot of horse dung. Americans traditionally love to fight. All real Americans love the sting of battle. When you were a kid, you all admired the champion marble shooter, the fastest runner, the big league ball player, the toughest boxer. Americans love a winner and will not tolerate a loser. Americans play to win all the time. Who can tell for a man who lost and laughed? That's why Americans have never lost and will never lose a war. Because the very thought of losing is hateful to America. Now, the army is a team. Lives, eats, sleeps, fights as a team. This individuality stuff is a bunch of crap. The billious bastards who wrote that stuff about individuality for the Saturday Evening Post don't know anything more about real battle than they do about fornicating. Now we have the finest food and equipment, the best spirit, and the best man in the world. No. Thank God I actually pity those poor bastards who are going up here. By God, I do. We're not just going to shoot the bastards. We're going to cut out their living guts and use them to grease the treads of our tanks. We're going to murder those lousy hun bastards by the bush. I don't want to get any messages saying that we are holding our position. We're not holding anything. Let the Hun do that. We are advancing constantly and we're not interested in holding on to anything except the enemy. We're going to hold on to him by the nose and we're going to kick him in the ass. We're going to kick the hell out of him all the time and we're going to go through him like crap through a goose. 
All right, now you sons of bitches. You know how I feel.